Here are some suggestions for planning and structuring your assessment task. You need to ensure that your timeline is on, a, on an appropriate scale, that the, you have about seven or eight astronomers included in it, that you've got their name, their birth and their death, and they're positioned using a line uh, relative along the um, timeline and make sure that they're in the correct order. And you also need to write a brief summary or statement, just one sentence of the, the major contribution from that astronomer. So summing that up again, you want a scaled timeline, seven to eight scientists that include just their name, their birth or death, uh, one brief statement to say how they contributed, the correct order and locate them relatively along the scale. And it's when their model was proposed as opposed to their birth or death is where you, you fit them along the scale. So the key thing that's got to underlie your response is how uh, advances in technology have provided new evidence and scientific knowledge uh, that's changed ideas about models of the universe and also provided support for the currently accepted model. So I'm going to go into the next slide into a bit more detail how you should structure it. Um, the key thing is that you're going to have to communicate and link some of the concepts throughout uh, and mainly identify or clearly identify the role of technology in the development of each model or the limitation of technology in, in some cases. So here are, I guess, the key concepts that you need to thread throughout your response. Uh, I'll just work through them, but they've got to be linked to each other and you've got to show some sort of logical flow of this information. So I guess the key thing, you've got your, your scientists. So I'd briefly um, describe or outline their, their model that they've um, contributed. Uh, and, and you're going to have a sort of development from the geocentric models through to the heliocentric model. So that's one way of structuring uh, your response in a logical order. Uh, for each model, you've got to look at the role of technology. Um, so previous models, obviously, they were limited uh, to eyesight and making observations in that way through to the development of tools that were used to measure, like the quadrant or the sextant, uh, and then on to the telescope. So you've got, to, you've got to pretty much say how that has helped advance or develop the models. Um, then you can relate that to the collection of data in terms of reliability, the accuracy, the quantity of data that's been collected. Um, and then you want to talk about how uh, the accuracy of predictions are based on those models as well. Uh, so further down, you'll be needing to discuss um, the advantages of each model over previous ones. So how has one model sort of um, added more or to a previous model or how has it actually turned that previous model on its head? Um, and uh, again, going back to the idea of what the thread with the technologies assess each model in terms of, well, technological limitations, but also how that, that technology has improved um, uh, knowledge and understanding, how it's improved our reliability of data um, and accuracy of data that's been collected. Here's an extract of a sample response to give you an idea about the information that you will need to include and how to link it together. Uh, so you can see that we've got, we've named or identified the astronomer, we've briefly described their model, 
we've talked about uh, the limitations of technology or how technology uh, has been used to develop uh, their idea or their model of the universe. And um, it relates to, well, I guess, future models, how they, uh, for example, it relied on his uh, data for the development of future ones. Um, and uh, I guess how it uh, improved on previous ones, for example, this one talks about how um, he's collected a, a, a large quantity of data that's uh, way more accurate um, than what could have been done before without the use of technology. So you're allowed to bring in a single sided A4 sheet of paper with handwritten notes, um, no sketches or diagrams, so um, no sort of structure that looks like a timeline. Uh, you can include your key dates, your key ideas and your concepts as well. So this is all based on your research findings and I'd put it in some sort of logical sequence as well. So write your summary dot points. Um, so keep it brief and um, you can abbreviate words as well to uh, give you some more room.